Breaking news now. Two robbers on the run after a violent carjacking at an Antioch apartment complex parking lot. Alexandra Cohen is at the South Police Precinct with more on this story. Alexandra, do officers have any idea who they're looking for in this case? No, because those two suspects were hiding their faces and they were both armed with guns when they approached this man who was on his way to work and asked for his car keys. He handed them over. Now a Bolo, which is a be on the lookout, is out for a gold Chevy Tahoe. Police said during the carjacking, one of the suspect's guns accidentally discharged. They aren't sure if the victim was the intended target, but at this point, it appears to be random. Officers said the victim was on his way to work when he was approached by those two men. They were wearing red and black bandanas to cover their faces so the victim didn't get a good look at them. Again, that victim was not injured during the incident and about 30 minutes ago I received an update from officers. They tell me they are still looking for that stolen Tahoe. Reporting live at the South Precinct, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. All right, Alexandra, thank you very much. And more breaking news right now, just down the road from where Alexandra is. Three robbers ambushed a gas station clerk and then robbed the place. This is the Mapco on Smith Springs Road. The men approached an employee who was changing the garbage bags just outside of the convenience store, went back inside with that individual and then stole cigarettes and cash. Luckily, the clerk was not hurt. Metro police officers are also looking for the driver of a car that crashed into a roundabout in downtown Nashville. This is at Jefferson Street and 6th Avenue around 2 o'clock this morning. The driver hit the roundabout, pushing a large concrete directional signal about 15 feet. The driver took off before police could get to the scene. Families of four people killed in what's known as the Renegade Mountain Murders have justice this morning. 29-year-old Jacob Bennett pleading guilty to the killings. Investigators say that Bennett shot and killed three teenagers and a young mom back in September 2013. He could face life behind bars without parole. Bennett's girlfriend, Brittany Mosier, also charged with those murders, but her trial date has not yet been set. It is an exciting day in Tennessee. You can now, well, in about an hour, pick up a bottle of wine when you're shopping at the grocery store, along with the bread and milk and eggs. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis live in Green Hills at the Kroger there with more on the anticipation for the first day of wine sales. I know you're very excited about this, Kimberly. 54 minutes, Steve. 54 minutes! That's when people can come in and start purchasing their wine. It starts at 8 o'clock this morning. It's the first time for Tennessee people to come in and purchase wine if they're interested. We're going to come over here. This is something we found out just, you know, hanging around. I'm going to grab the nitty gritty because I don't know, I've just been eyeballing it all morning. And you can actually dip it in here. This doesn't have paper in it, so this is okay. You dip it in here, leave it in here while you're doing your shopping, come back and it's chilled. You got your nice cold bottle of wine, ready to go home. Maybe you wanna kick your shoes off. You've been dealing with the kids all day. You got your wine after you're finished doing your shopping. Now, just because it's legal in grocery stores does not mean that they don't have to follow the same rules that other liquor stores follow. Now, the hours will still be the same. You cannot purchase wine past 11 o'clock at night, and there will be no sales of wine on Sundays. And then you also can't purchase wine on major holidays. So this upcoming 4th of July, even though they are selling it, Starting today, you will not be able to purchase it on the 4th. So if you're interested, grab that bottle of wine on July 3rd. And if you're interested, you can purchase it here in Kroger. You can purchase it in Walmart, Target, Publix, Food Lion. So you have a lot of options. We will be here when the first bottle of wine is sold. So stay with News Channel 5 throughout the day for full coverage. For now, we are live in Green Hills. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. All right, Kimberly, thanks so much. Wine in grocery stores, just one of 82 new laws going into effect across Tennessee today. There's also one called the Slowpoke Law. It keeps slower drivers from being in the far left lane on three lane highways. Also, restaurants and other establishments will be able to carry uh, ep epinephrine. The law enforcement officers also will be able to administer that in emergencies. They'll probably carry those epi pens, as they're called. Also, veterans will be able to get handgun carry permits a lot easier. They will not be required to comply with the mandatory classroom and the hours on the firing range. 
Big day for Metro's new school director, Dr. Sean Joseph. It's his first official day on the job. Dr. Joseph takes over, replacing Dr. Jesse Registered, who retired back in 2014. Chris Henson's been doing a great job as the interim. Metro teachers report back to their classrooms one month from today. There's a new plan now for the 280,000 Tennesseans who cannot get health insurance. Lawmakers, along with House Speaker Beth Harwell, announced the new plan, which would expand 10 care in two phases to veterans and those with a mental illness. Republicans tout the proposal as an alternative to Governor Haslam's failed Insure Tennessee initiative. Democrats, however, say that plan still leaves tens of thousands of residents without health insurance. An urgent call to action in the wake of a high-speed chase that led to the death of an innocent mom. Gary Ann Simmons stole an SUV from Manchester, then led police on a high-speed chase that ended with a horrific crash in Murfreesboro. Jessica Campos died in that crash. Murfreesboro Police Chief Carl Durr sent a letter to the city council and the mayor questioning the judgment of those involved. It reads, quote, Many of our officers are deeply upset over the decisions made which led to this tragedy. He said there's a need to protect the public and police from unnecessary risks created by indiscriminate high-speed chases. Councilman Bill Shacklett agrees. And I very much admire uh, Chief Durr for the way, not just the point that he raised, but the way that he raises the points. You know, this, this is a discussion that needs to take place. Now keep in mind, Murfreesboro police were not involved in the pursuit. And while the Tennessee Highway Patrol was not either, they are investigating this crash.